and I am back! I need to undefin myself with Artie. Hi, Artie. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. What do you mean you couldn't hear yourself? What? I, I can't hear the music, remember? When Discord's on and I'm in a call, I can only hear the call. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know you could, that was the case. I, I'm sorry. Whoops. It's alright. It's okay. Whoops. <laughs> sad because I'm really proud of it. It's so somber and sad. Perfect. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> but what do you think of seeing all the, the cast and HD art like that? It's a good picture. In modern art? It's a good picture. I'm, I'm, that's, that's, I think that's one of the things I'm most excited about with the remake is seeing the art, updated art style in the game. Yep. It will be interesting. So I hope I hope they keep Junpei's neck power level. That's very important. Uh, apparently, with his most recent designs, he's more muscular and less neck. The muscular is not a bad choice, but the neck, the lack of it. Yeah, no. Uh, let me let me see if I can show you what he looks like in the anime. He's up on the uh, neck power. I'm gonna send it to you in the Discord. I don't know, he looked more muscular to me, but this was the movie design. Eh, he seems about the same. Yeah, it. he has a shorter neck, though. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, it's it's hard to beat the neck I showed you before. I mean, <laughs> my friend said he looked like a Twizzler. <laughs> there, there's an inside said that you know, like he looks like a twizzler. <laughs> there's another picture that's got like the majority of the cast like that, where their neck is all extended, just, just because. <laughs> Either way, moving up, um, yep. into the live, and we get to hang out with your favorite boy again. I can't wait. At least today is one of the days we uh, I'm supposed to hang out with him, right? Uh, Friday. if you're talking about Akinari, then it's Sunday, but if you mean- oh, you're talking about Mutsatsu. Yeah, he's available in the week. Should I focus hard on him, or should I- Like I said, are we- we are live again, right? Oh, yeah, I can't... we're live. Okay, good, because that would be weird if we weren't. But, um, Mutsatsu is going to be the harder one, because he's got dead periods of time, whereas Takaya, or whatever the, the devil's name is, doesn't. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Spin time. <laughs> what a strange kid. Everybody loves their drunk monk uncle. I don't know. I like him. You'll see why. I was just thinking you might show up. And here you are. <laughs> okay. Hey. Don't get me wrong, kid. It's not like I was looking forward to seeing you or anything. Babaka. <laughs> Baka. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what's the deal with your hair, kid? Wow. Is that what's in style nowadays? Doesn't it get in your eyes? Do you know how many times I heard that growing up? Like, no. legitimately. Like, I had my hair with that exact same haircut growing up. Yeah, the emo special, huh? Yeah, no, and people were like, doesn't it get in your eyes? How can you even see? I'm like, I just do. It's not that hard. Hair strands are relatively thin. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's... Uh, I still I do know. the emo comb over on times, but... Like, yeah. it's something I heard growing up consistently. I always got buzz kids grow- or bu buzz kids, that's a whole other thing. I always got buzz cuts growing up, so what I had to deal with was everyone and their mother thinking it was okay to rub my shaved head. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's cute when you're a kid. It stops being cute later on. But that's just what it is. 
My son kept his hair long too. You should cut it. Now, better at shave it all off. Smooth like me. Oh my gosh, I hate him. Yeah, that might be cool. Don't encourage him, Minato. <laughs> uh, you don't get it, kid. I was heavily into the emo style in junior high school with the really thick hair and I got asked all that all the time, yeah. Mm. I'm not talking about fashion here. I'm saying you'd be better off without your hair. Ah, oh, sure, you're young and good looking now, but just wait. I mean, look at me. I'm old and ugly. My cheeks sag like a damn bulldog's. <laughs> That's life, kid. People get old. Someday, you'll be just like me. You'll look in the mirror and think, Damn! That was handsome back in the day. Here's a little trick so you don't lose hope in the future. Just don't expect nothing. Simple, eh? And that way, you won't ever be disappointed. I don't like his advice. <laughs> You're gonna lose your hair eventually, kid, so why bother with it now? Bald is beautiful. You just wake up in the morning and go. No fuss. Except you get really cold in the winter. Eh, you don't worry about that. <laughs> I can give... I can even give you money for the shave. Does he give me money by doing him? No, doing him? No. <laughs> doing his social link. Uh huh. <laughs> don't, don't look at me like that. Uh huh. Tsuda. <laughs> what? Ah oh, man, what are you like? You don't go around sharing people like we gonna use Sh Yukari's strap with that? <laughs> Tuna, yeah, still, something you want to tell me? Uh, what is all my talking putting you to sleep? Well, you can't sleep here, kid. <laughs> go home. I'm a concern. Ah, uh, don't worry, I am too. <laughs> Sleep earlier. <laughs> nah, but for real, Musatsu's probably my third favorite link in this game. Wait, the other ones... Oh, mm -hmm. go ahead. Uh, no, you were saying with, so? um... Madam President. Hmm. Do we... Do we need to have a talk later? Listen, he's not my type! <laughs> Oh my gosh, yes. Soon. Soon are, I'm heartbroken over here. Oh god. Morning! It's cold today, but it's worth it for winter vacation tomorrow. What are you getting with your New Year's gift? We haven't got ours yet. But I want to get a lucky bag. I'm aiming for that purse. Ooh, me too! Hey, do you want to start waiting in line today? Bring up a Kotats. Carry a whole blanket. <laughs> <laughs> like, OM, the lucky bag? That's like so fetch. <laughs> I'll let you read her. <clears throat> Winter break starts tomorrow, though I'm sure most of you are just going to sleep in during New Year's. You'd better stop relying on your parents so much and don't fall asleep in the Kotatsu, okay? Speaking of Kotatsu, I'm reminded of a passage from a famous novel, The Shutter of the East Window. Oh wait, that was a futon. Wow, the disrespect. <laughs> You stayed awake for Mr. Edagawa, but her? 
<laughs> wow. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> Don't the judge me. <laughs> the sheer disrespect. Don't judge me. Unbelievable. Do not judge me. Oh, I'm judging. I'm judging so hard, I'm about ready to summon Melchizedek. <laughs> you mean Makil... Makil... Makilzadek? I think it's Melchizedek. I'm not mm. sure. Makilzadek. Hold on, do, do you have him? Not on me. Mm. Yeah, Makilzadek is... it's... it's... um... Israeli. Ah. Uh, hmm. He's an angel in the, um, Juda Judea Christian lore. It's weird, I know how to pronounce some of them, but Melchizedek is just the one that I'm like, uh, I got no idea. Yeah, it's Melchizedek. Ah, I see. Because I am Christian and I know that one. <laughs> hmm. Uh, other... Let's see here, uh, Mutatsu. Mm -hmm. Apparently it, like, brings... Every single time you do this, it's plus ten. Yep. So it's the equivalent of getting two musical notes. Yeah. I think that's how that works. It's either by threes or it's either by fives. It's... Because I know sometimes it's, like, plus fifteen. Yeah. So it, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> It does a little bit. It There's... just changes between games. Like, there are just some links that are designed to be easy to progress. Like, The Devil, I'm pretty sure... Fuckboy Magician is also easy to progress, and a few others are too. Oh, maxing out sun tomorrow. Ooh. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Nope, never mind, I'm on the wrong date. Yeah, because well, I we're on Saturday. Down. Yeah. Uh, because I scrolled down, sorry. It's alright. Empress, oh thank god, that was almost really bad. <laughs> that was almost well, really bad. Well, to be fair, you couldn't visit Akinari on a Saturday anyway. Um... Yeah, tonight is we walk with Koromaro. Are you leaving now, Arisato? If you're not busy, I would like to do something. I need to do a little research, and I was wondering if you'd like to come with me. Like, okay, so my biggest problem with the Persona 3 walkthroughs, especially with FES, um, is they're so divided. There's one walkthrough that is specifically for, like, raising your social stats, and there's another that's specifically for raising your social links. But you need that walkthrough that raises your social stats in order to do the one with the social links. So why is that? <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> Different authors, I guess? I don't know. It's so weird. For you? Hmm? Uh, yes, please. Thank you. Looking through the literature section made me realize something. There are a lot fewer books about marriage and family life than there are romance no novels. I mean, yeah, marriage and family life isn't glorious. Do you think that means that the most exciting time in one's life is before marriage? Is marriage worth that sacrifice? Well, to be frank, the group is in turmoil over the inheritance issue. To be honest, I'm having difficulty understanding the expectations of the other members. But I'm the daughter of the head of the group. I'm expected to lead the company. Even if that requires me to sacrifice something to do it. Fiance has been chosen for me. He's a new president of one of our affiliates, and he's much older than me. The five does a storyline very similar to this. I wonder yeah. if they're gonna go the same route. Haru is definitely a mirror to Mitsuru. Just a lot nicer. A lot a less lot in control. 
it's definitely an interesting to look thing to look at it, right? Because they both have the same thing where they're like, they're the princess out of the castle, but mm -hmm. their personalities are still very different. Yeah, but Whereas, two entirely different characters. Yeah, because Mitsuru's out of touch, but she's trying to learn and she's like, you know, curious. Whereas Haru is... She wanted to avoid it. She's also a step away from just being a mass murderer, but that's a whole other topic. But if I agree to the marriage, the future of the company will be secured. He's planning to announce the partnership to our engagement at the same time, and he's much older. Oh, God. Oh, there's a thing with age in this game that I'm not comfortable with. It is still a common theme, I will admit it. Doing so will uh, we'll give the appearance that the company is sta uh, stabilized. I get this was a thing in 2006, but it, this has not aged well. No, like, actually, I would disagree, because the whole point of this is it's supposed to be off-putting. I suppose so, yeah. Like, like, let me ask you something, and this is an odd poll. Did you ever, like, There's a there was an anime that was out last season called Magical Revolution of I the Princess. It's a good thing. It's got a scene that covers this very same topic, where because matrilineal inheritance isn't a thing, this discussion comes up and it's just as slimy and just as creepy. And that's the point. Mm. It's the best solution for everyone involved. No, but there's a big thing about dating people that are not your age in this game. And yeah. It, it, yeah, that's one of the things that in the remake I think will change. I do wonder about that because again, I know what you're talking about. It's something that I can't really discuss until we get to the ending. Yeah, but I know what you mean. That's news to me. Well, of course it is. You're the only person I've told. My parents chose the same path, so I won't run from my destiny. You have to reconsider. If I reconsider and decline the if I reconsider and decline the engagements, then what will I do? Leave everything behind and go on a journey of self-discovery? If I did, would you come with me? <laughs> I'm just joking. Sure you are. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou shalt have a blessing when thou chooses to create the persona of the Empress Arcana. Night walks again. Mm hmm. Good thing we're not dating any. We're not. Oh, yeah, we, uh. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we're not actively dating the other girl. I hate this. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would be astounded if the um, alleged remake keeps this madness in. Uh, like they they, changed they dropped it in it. P3P anyways. So yeah, they they dropped it in portable, but it's just like this is such a tumor on Fez. It's so hard to ignore. Yeah. Lately, I've been hesitant to meet with you like this. It's always just the two of us. I have to follow through with my decision. But talking with you has made me lose my resolve. It's your fault I'm feeling this way. Baka. Please excuse me. No, that's Yukari. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Yukari's Actually, social link was losing, like, Baka the entire way through. Yeah, but so was Mutatsu. Welcome back. Yeah, Mutatsu is just male Yukari. God, isn't that a quite the change? <laughs> I mean, c to be fair, considering all the stuff Yukari goes through in this game, I'd probably be balding too. Uh, let's see, Koromaro. Why is it telling me to? What's up? I'm, I'm, wa I'm asking why he's asking me to walk Koromaro. Well, Koromaro wants to be walked. This is fair. Oh. It's 
to help sell the point of don't pick kill him. It's so funny, there is a bad ending in every Persona game, but it's so freaking obvious in each one. The weird thing is, like, I'm gonna be blunt, do you intend to see the bad ending of this one? Because you clearly know what it is. Like, how to get it. Do you want to see it? <sighs> Tell me off stream. Okay. Um, because I think you just kill him. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Um, sleep earlier. No, actually, let's go for it now, for now. Yeah. You, you want to talk about it right now? Yeah, because I don't think I'm going to pick it. Okay, so you're right. That is basically what happens is a discussion happens, but he comes to you in private. You go through with it, and for a very long time, you see what the results of that are, and it takes its time to rub it in. It's actually kind of haunting. Yeah. Like, it's it's not quick like the other ones are, where it's very obvious. No, it it takes its time, and it goes through with it. Oh, Jim. I, I, out of curiosity, <laughs> I would suggest looking it up on YouTube in your own time just to see how long it is. Hey. Ah, oh, hey, Fuka. What are you doing here? Nothing, really. I come here when I'm feeling down. Is that Chidori's sketchbook? The art style, I, I said this before about the art style. The art style is very French in this game. It reminds yeah, me a lot of French anime or French sketchbooks. Very skinny characters, long necks, big eyes. Well, for the time, this was the shoujo style. Like, do you remember, do you know Clamp? Yes. Yeah, so you know Kip Code Chaos and everything like that? And they're doing Card Fight Vanguard now, too. Yeah. R right. That that very long-bodied style was in vogue at the time. Yeah. This is where I first met her. What are you doing here, Fuka? Oh, I went home for a bit. I've been going back there a lot lately. I see. You know, you've really changed, Fuka. You're totally different from when you first came to the dorm. Really? Yeah, you were so timid back then. But now you're so... strong. You've changed too, Junpei-kun. 100% Fuka's... this actress is not coming back to the remake if it happens. I... I hope she does, because I... I will I will die on this hill. I don't think she's bad. I just think the lines they picked for the battle dialogue are just wrong. No, I think she's bad, but I I know for a fact that she's not coming back because they've already recast her in previous games. You sure? Because I'm yep. pretty sure in Q she was still the same one. Nope, Wendy Lee. That's a disappointment. Yep. Uh, they like. They, like they, that's uh, that's that's not a slant on Wendy Lee. I just actually like Fuka's actress here. Yeah, no, they they recast her already. Um, I'm looking at it up right now. Yukaton said the same thing, but I don't think so. Uh, yeah, in Persona 4 Arena, Persona Q, and Persona 3D, uh, it's Wendy Lee. God damn, I I genuinely thought in Q they just gave her a different direction, but. Nope. <clears throat> I mean, just the other day, I got all freaked out about being scared. I am such a wuss. <laughs> Fuka you! Nugget doesn't like Fuka. <laughs> You're wrong, Nugget. That's not I'm true. just saying. <laughs> but I really was scared. Actually, I'm still scared. The actress that plays her in this one is unknown, so she might not be in the industry anymore. Most likely. It's the same with the original Naoto, too. But there, after thinking I think, about it, I realized that I don't want to lose my memory. I think if there I were rumors. If I forget everything, that means I'll forget Chidori, too. Sorry, we can talk more about this in a second. Yeah, I wouldn't we'll even wait. be alive right now if it wasn't for her, you know? So I say F that. You're scared because you're not running away. 
That's nothing to be ashamed of. Fuka. That's why I want to protect everyone. Think about it. The Dark Hour is really scary too, isn't it? But our persona's awakened, and we're here today. The future hasn't been decided yet. And I want to be true to myself. True to yourself? You're really something, Fuka. We should fight. Wow. I agree. That's weird coming from Junpei. I don't think so. It makes perfect sense. Um. But yeah, you were saying? Sorry. Uh, uh crap. I had that thought and I lost it to the wind. <laughs> but yeah, no, I. Oh, oh, I know. There were, like, because Naoto's another voice actor who's kind of similar to this one where the vanilla cut of Persona has a different one than, like, what they stuck with for Arena and Golden from then on. Mm hmm where she's just lost to the ether. Supposedly, someone did find her, and she confirmed it, but, like, I can't remember the name, and I feel real bad for that, but it's, mm. it was, like, it was one of those urban legends, you know what I mean? Because there were multiple theories about who it was, like, it was somebody famous who just did it off Union, but, you know. Sun. Hmm? The Sun Arcana. Ah, good. And he's at eight. Mm. So he's drawing close. Yes, he is. Um, someone else has school. Other sort Old monk. I realize where I'm getting all the money now. What do you mean where you're getting all the money? Oh. <laughs> I forgot that the fortune gives money as well. Does it? It has a oh. chance of getting money, yeah. Oh, I thought it just took your money. No, it, hmm. if it's bad luck, it takes it. If it's good luck, it gives it. What, does the paper envelope just grab it from your wallet? I don't, it, it, it just says you dropped 1,000 yen or something like that. Why we can't bend it... over and pick it up? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are you... I mean, if you got mugged by a Shinto shrine, would you want to stop it? <laughs> do you want to read or should I? I'll do it. Hey, you... <laughs> 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 Me! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> if you don't mind... Please, stay until I've recovered my breath. You know, that's the exact uh, same thing my boyfriend said when I got out of the gym one time. Damn, dude. <laughs> Son. Just uh, give me a minute so I can calm down. It can suss our nugget, leave me alone! <laughs> False alarm. I had some pain, but it's better now. It's <clears throat> calming down. Thanks. I stopped taking my medicine. So, according to this guide, we just got one music note. Without a persona, it's five. With persona, it's seven. It's just a weird rounding number, I guess. Yeah. It's not going to fix me anyway, right? It just helps for the pain and spasming. Um... What are you thinking? My medicine makes me drowsy, and if my hands go numb, then I can't write anything. 
I have to finish my story. The reason my story's unfinished is... because I haven't found the meaning of life yet. I get lost in my writing, erase it, and then... don't know where to go next. When we're talking, I have a clearer picture. I can almost see it. It seems like that might be the meaning of life for me. I'm probably writing this book to find the meaning of life. Well, if I do find it and finish the story, I hope we get a little more time together after that. Thou art I, and I am Thou. Thou shalt have our blessing when Thou choosest to create a persona of the Sun Arcana. Two more. The sun is setting. I hope to see you again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, how is your day? Tomorrow's Gourmet King again. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Oh, no. <laughs> so I'm... Well, no, I'll wait. Mm. Uh-huh. Do you... Is this your favorite persona? The game? Or yeah. the Link? Yeah, this is my favorite of the, the, like, the primary trilogy. I like to story fine, but as a video game, it's rough. But I do respect what they tried with it, but man... I would not inflict that duology on anybody that I did not despise. So, in other words, you're not one of the people that's saying, Oh, you should go back and play 1 and 2. No. Because here's the thing, right? 2 has some good ideas, and it has an excellent story. Like, everyone knows the whole thing about the fact that, yeah, for real, Adolf Hitler is an innocent sin. Like, that's not a joke. He's a character uh -huh. in it. Uh-huh. But the thing is, is actually playing that duology is suffering incarnate for wholly different reasons. Like, I want you to imagine something. Imagine a duology where the first game is so mind-meltingly easy, there's no engagement from the combat whatsoever, right? Yep. None. Every boss fight, every random encounter, with a jacked-up encounter rate, mind you, is sky-high to the point that it's just mind-melting. But it's got a really good story. Next, play the next one where it's the polar opposite. <laughs> where the combat is actually very good, the boss fights are excellent, but just because you're always running with a four-man group in a game that where the five is the max, and because of a weird quirk with how Estoma, the game's version of Repel, works, were like... For reasons, you get a character who's like 30 levels above your main party, but the Repel works on the protagonist, so Repel is useless because the enemy is scaled around the big guy when you can't repel any of the enemy encounters. So actually playing it is awful. It's a good story, but a combination of just the bad encounter rate, the clunky menus that are just weird, and just the fact that, like, it's just miserable to play is the thing. Because, like... I don't mind a high encounter rate, if you can control it. You can't control it in Eternal Punishment because of that quirk. And the animations in that game are goddamn slow, even on the faster setting. It's just... Eternal Punishment is a game where the only fun parts are the boss fights. And they're fun, but everything else about it is just actual misery. Which is a damn shame, because the story is good. Anyway, I'm done with my rant. No, it's fine. Uh, it's freezing out here. Hey, Koromaru, let me borrow your fur. My Vic Mignogna impersonation. You already made your decision, right? Yeah, I made mine too. I just wanted to let you know. 
Oh, I saw Fuka today. She's pretty tough. She wasn't like that before, but she's gotten way stronger. Talking to her was like the last little shove I needed. Girls are tough, and that's no joke. <laughs> are you saying me too? Don't worry, dude. Everyone knows what a tough doggy you are. Korobaro's best boy! Yeah. Also, can we talk about how broken Fuka is in 5? Fuka is in 5? Sorry, Futaba. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, support has always been kind of a mean character where outside of, like, just, I don't know, blaring you with voice lines, they don't really do a lot. No, no, no. In 5, she does a lot. She's actually broken. I'm not being sarcastic. Yeah, I've heard about her, that she just randomly gives your entire party power and mind charge. Because like she'll, she'll even block attacks that would kill you or your party. On the one hand, that's really cool, but man, that would be great in a game where that kind of emergency is worth it. I mean, in, on higher difficulties, it is. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Uh, let's see. I want to look up Futaba's skills here, because Futaba in Royal is the best operator that the series has ever had. Like, oh, she yeah. is... Hey, you want to know what Fuku's or ultimate ability is? What? It's a random RNG ability that has an approximately 10% chance to wipe your party. I'm not joking. She'll eventually learn a spell called Oracle that will just do a random thing. It can either drain your MP, it can either drain the enemy's HP, it can either fully heal you, it can either delete the enemy team, or it will just kill you. Okay, what skills does she have in 5? I have to bring this up. Uh, Royal. Analysis. Sub-recover HP. After battle, 10% HP uh, recovery for backup allies. Um, Sub-recover SP. After battle, recover 1% SP recovery for backup allies. Sub um, HP EX, same thing. Treasure skimmer, find out if a foe is carrying a rare item ahead of time. Um, let's see, what is the level 99 version? Oh, yeah. All attacks may defeat all foes and restore. All out attacks may defeat all foes and restore 25% HP to all allies. Is another thing that she just has for no apparent reason. Yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> huh? That yeah, seems fair. Especially I mean, Risei has a chance to just add more damage to all outs. But one thing that's not saying here is if you, like, were to take a fatal hit, she has a chance to just shield everybody. She has this ability to buff a party with random ability, with random. She has the ability to randomly put Heat Riser on the entire party. <laughs> like, she's just busted. Like, she is gross. See, it's stuff like that that I both appreciate, but as somebody who likes, you know, actively hurting themselves with challenge, I wish there was a way to shut that off. <laughs> it is random, but still, it's like, she's actually- one thing I do appreciate is that she is actively a part of the combat, unlike other, like, supports in the series, if that makes any sense. Yeah, there's no doubt about it, I just wish it wasn't so... extra. <laughs> Yeah. But that's just me, and I'm not everybody, so... Yeah, no, but uh, to be fair, all those abilities are given as the game goes on. You don't get right. them right off the bat. Yeah, um, and I'm sure a couple of them are, like, social link benefits and whatnot. Yeah. So... Uh... Yes. Someone else has cool... Other links... Matatsu... Today's luck is, according to the fortune, you will have a fair bit of luck. Your money will also be in your fortune. You just found 2,500 yen. Free money? Yep. <laughs> it's not a lot of free money, but it's free money. I mean, it's like, what, half a shadow? Not even Actually, at this, yeah, at this point in the game, it'd be like, what, quarter? Yeah, no, it's, because uh, I'm getting like 
33k at Shadow? Yeah, although the weird thing is, most of the money in this game isn't even from Shadows, it's opening the attaché cases. The what attaché? The attaché, the briefcases that you find treasure in. I've not done any of that. Yeah, you have. You picked up the briefcases in Tartarus. They're like the treasure chests. So freaking expensive. Do I have these already? These are so freaking expensive. Why are these so... I do have these already. Okay, thank God. Oh, man. I was panicking because, like, legitimately, it is ridiculously expensive. We're hanging out with him again today. Oh, goody. Oh, hey, Miss Parsano kin Wondering about my clothes? Oh, you see, the reason I wear our school uniform is... Nothing else will fit. Anyway, wanna go for a bite somewhere? Poor Whittle's stomach has been crying for a while. Whittle? Mm, Whittle. <laughs> so mm. Wonderful, my gourmet friend. And let's go to ramen shop. That's the place for you. This ramen shop gets so much <laughs> like business. Is that enough appetizers? Yes, waiter. Two bowls of the usual today. And as always, make sure one of them is extra large. Wow. Two. Yep. These are Don 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 noodles. That's three Don's. Always. Once you go Don, you don't go back again. Oh, Wait. God. <laughs> This is the crown jewel of Hagakure's secret hidden menu. I've always considered this lightly flavored spicy miso soup a microcosm of the miracle of creation. I, I really don't like him. You gotta know the secret menu, right? I don't know how they expect people to find out about it, though. Ah, well, no point in thinking about it. What's important is that all the best stuff is hidden from normal people. Don't forget to keep that other bowl you took, waiter. I want to take that soup home with me. You and I are the only two people who know this sublime taste sensation. Sorry. No, no, keep going. Let it out. I don't like him. <laughs> I promise you. It will get worse. Uh, can I stop his social link and do something else instead? <laughs> no. No. You get to suffer it. Mm, uh, no, don't forget to blow on the noodles to cool them off. <laughs> Thou yeah. art not. Aww. <laughs> You're no, <laughs> you're no fun. <laughs> I hate him so much. How can you deny the authority of the Moon Pie Arcana, man? <laughs> this has been a privilege, cause you got to learn a lot about me. This wouldn't be possible if we were brothers, because the Gourmet King's brother cannot be the Gourmet King. So. Yeah, get me? Who would you say I was? You're the Gourmet King. Ah, you didn't have to say that. <laughs> I'm generally shy. Want some of my egg? I ain't part of it, but yeah, it's still okay. Uh, I hate him. Oh no! I'd better start eating it before the noodle texture goes to hell. <clears throat> okay. No more talking. By the way, 
bartender. I want to save the soup in that bowl you took. Get me a takeout container. He's so... Isn't he, isn't he just charming? He's so gross. <laughs> I know, isn't it great? No. Well, I'm having fun. Hi, how was your day? Okay. Mm. I want mm. to get to New Year's Eve before we end stream. Mm. That would be a good call. Okay. It's Monday. Who are we focusing on? Man, can you imagine gifting someone an egg and then immediately taking it back in these trying times? Just <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Who are we focusing on on Monday? Monday, I think it's the devil. And he's not here, so I'm wrong. Uh, I guess it would have to be him. Keep going. Watching Suno suffer is hilarious. Uh, you see? Angel oh. gets it. Oh, he's not here. Hmm. Well, that's... Wait, hold on. Was the internet wrong? One second. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Nope, that's not quite right. Because I was pretty sure What's-His-Butt was on... Mondays. Let me see... Uh, hold on. Using the wonderful power of the Mega Ten Wiki... No, he's supposed to be there on Monday nights. Weird. Oh, well, hold on. Oh! That's... Uh, what? Huh. It, according to this... You know what? I wonder, because there are two availability slots on here. There's Persona 3 and then there's P3 Portable. And according to P3 Portable, he's not there on Monday. But on P3, he is. I almost wonder if this chart is referring to, like, the vanilla release. Yes. That's bizarre. Okay, hold on hmm. a second. Who is well, the character then, again? Tanaka? President Tanaka. Yeah, President Tanaka. The purveyor of your wildest desires. Yeah, no, I'm gonna look this up too. Because I'm looking at it, and maybe I'm wrong, but according to the Megaton Wiki, he should be there on Monday, but then on P3 Portable, he's not. Hmm. Apparently on two on importable, which might be where they got the schedule. He's only available for two nights. Yeah, maybe that's what happens. Is just you're obviously playing Fez, right? I'm like yes. I'm not crazy. Okay. Yes. Weird. Why would they have him be available on three days for like the vanilla version and not Fez? Well, in the FES version, there's more social links. Yeah, but there's like one. It's just Aeon. Hmm. Who knows? Okay, let's see here. Oh, alright, I already saved. So, by the way, um, looks like we don't spend time with anybody tonight. Well, that's awkward. Uh, 28th, yeah, there's no one to spend time with, so go back to my room. Mm. Wasted night. I'm sorry, man. I could have swore on Monday CB there. Nah, that's fine. Uh, sleep earlier. We should still have enough time? Um, well, it'll be close. Two... They're ten, so if we go up two a week... Two, four, six... Two, four, six, eight, ten. I should be able to clear them in five days. Yeah. Five weeks. Wait, five weeks. Five weeks. How many It'll weeks be... do we have? Um, you've got like two more days before December's over, then you're in January. So I don't have enough time. Maybe. Because here's the thing, right? Mutsatsu is there for four days, but Tanaka's only there for two. Yeah, no, I don't have enough time to clear Tanaka, because he would take five weeks to clear. 
Ah, that's true. Well, balls. Yeah, there, there, there is not enough time. I'm sorry, man. But on the plus side, you'll have enough time for gourmet king, and that's the important thing. No. It just means I won't do the night arcanas in this playthrough. I'll just make sure to do night arcanas in P4. Mm. It's no big deal. Yeah. Just me, uh, like, I'm less worried about the arcanas now that you told me that thing with the answer. Mm. Like, I... I kind of wish you didn't tell me that, because that discouraged me from doing the answer. I still say it's worth experiencing, but... I, I know, but I don't want to do it. I, like, part of me doesn't want to do it now that I can't transfer my Personas over. Like, because that's oh. the part, that's the fun part to me in Persona. Man, the answer would be weird if you could do that. Like, for me, fusing personas and using personas has always been one of the funnest things. I mean, you could still fuse in the answer, you just don't have the compendium. Yeah, no, having the compendium was the funnest part. In the, it, it is just seeing the lists of personas and min-maxing to get the best possible results. Mm. Like, that's, that's what I like about... Like, I, I love doing stuff like this, which we have more go making. Wonderful. Now this is the kind of content I'm here for. Quite literally. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Like, personas like this make me happy. <laughs> so happy. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, a living cheat code like Thanatos <laughs> would make anybody happy. <laughs> what do you mean a living cheat code? Man, I look at this thing, and the literally the only thing more busted is probably, um, Yoshitsune. And that man exists to be busted. <laughs> so, so I did a good job building this one? I mean, yeah, you built an actual killing machine of the Death Arcana, that does fit. <laughs> like, him and Siegfried just destroy everything. Which is super weird, because in later Persona games, I don't even bother with physical. Yeah, it's definitely an odd thing. Physical and magic always have a curious balance in Mega Ten games, it's weird. Three this... is probably the one where physical is at its best, and even then that's pushing it. Yeah, because there's so many Personas that are just resistant to er er Arcanas, that are such resistant to everything, so it's better to just crit them down a lot of the time. Yeah. Yeah, but on normal you can get away with it, on hard you can't, but that's a whole other topic. What, critting them down? Yeah, because your odds of critting on very hard aren't great. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, because it varies by game to game, but generally the changes they make is just... The enemies hit harder, the enemies evade more, and usually they're crit resistant or they crit more often. And then later games would add really, quote, fun things like giving you less money and EXP per kill. And then, let's see, 